Good morning and welcome to day three of Space Symposium here at Colorado Springs and at the Broadmoor. I'm Rich Cooper of Space Foundation. We're coming to you about 40 minutes after Starship, SpaceX's newest launch vehicle, just had its first liftoff from Boca Chica, Texas. Uh, needless to say, it was a stunning liftoff. This is the heaviest vehicle we've ever seen going up. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't get to do everything that they had hoped for, but it is a great day though for the space community when you can have another company step forward with a new vehicle, take that risk, put it all on the line, share it publicly, and take those lessons learned and apply them. SpaceX and many other companies that we've got around here uh, throughout the entire space, uh, space symposium, they've got a lot of people that have been through those similar challenges and they've learned every step of the way. So we at Space Foundation and a lot of folks here are really, really excited by the first step that they've taken and again, seeing what comes next. Uh, that, uh, that is one of the things I'm sure a lot of people will be talking about today but it also puts in perspective some of the things that we heard yesterday about looking for new approaches, finding sustainability in our space operations. This is a question that both industry and government and investors are all going to have to tackle as to when you put these new approaches forward, no one ever comes up and says, I'm gonna fund failure. What they will fund, they will fund a risk that has good people, good talent, good approaches. And again, that is gonna be a, uh, an area that industry and government are going to have to put forward because again, when you're gonna to look to do sustainable space approaches, we know we're gonna have some hard lessons learned. And again, failure in the space industry, yes, costs a lot of money, but it also requires us to take the risks to go forward. Risks and learning from those failures are all good things, and again, We've seen SpaceX and Boeing and Lockheed and Northrop and all of these other companies that have had challenges before. They always come back bigger and better and stronger. But that balance between funding risk and, and all of that will be something that we'll have to see really unfold. That discussion I expect to pick up some speed here today. And as we look to next symposium and we enter into this third space age as it was turned by Lieutenant General Shaw yesterday in the Warfighter, uh, in the Warfighter luncheon, this is going to be this era where we see these partnerships with industry and government. And again, finding those risks that are worthy of funding, finding those approaches that are worthy of taking that extra investment and links. Those are all things that we're going to start to see, start to spread out and navigate here over today and over the year until we have our next space symposium. So a couple quick other takeaways for you. The, uh, today on the agenda, we'll be taking a look at the issue of space power. Again, where, where risk and technology and everything have to come together, as well as novel approaches. We've heard very clear, very, very clear to, uh, from Secretary Kendall, uh, CSO Saltzman, uh, even NASA and all of the other international approaches, they're not looking for conventional, they're looking for new. They wanna see those new approaches because that's how we make bigger space opportunities happen. In addition, other hot topics for the, today will include workforce. NASA economist Alex McDonald will be there talking again about what, um, how NASA and other space agencies are impacting US states and the larger economy as a whole. But to have that economy, you've got to have talent. Uh, Space Foundation, this is an issue that's very central to us with our Center for Innovation and Education. What we will be looking to do is sharing approaches that we have, working with teachers, working with entrepreneurs, working with innovators. All of those things will be brought up today along with our partners working in the workforce area on that track. In addition, space economy will always be central to any conversation on what's happening right now. We can forecast here at Space Foundation, we will have a brand new space economy number at the end of July of this year. And when we release that, we'll be sharing that publicly so that we can continue to have this vibrant dialogue as we move towards a $1 trillion economy by the end of this decade. Also on the agenda today, Rich Del Bello of the Department of Commerce, who is a, a veteran of both government and industry, someone who brings uh, his great experience to the Department of Commerce at the Office of Space Commerce, the role of his office and what it plays as being a relationship builder, but working with regulators and working with the Congress and working with the other portions of the executive branch. Commerce Department plays a tremendous role and Rich Del Bello is certainly someone we're looking forward to hearing from and hearing throughout the year. So. 
with that, that's kind of a quick recap of what we've got going on today, but also a forecast of what we're looking for for the year. But there's a lot that's going to happen between now and the next space symposium. So how are you going to keep track of that? Take a look at the space report that we issue every quarter as to what's happening in policy, in government, not just in the United States, but around the world. This is a global space economy with more than 90 countries, hundreds if not thousands of companies employing millions around the world doing big, bold things. In addition uh, to the space report, look at Symposium 365. If you go to the Space Foundation website, spacefoundation.org, look at Symposium 365. Between the space report content and the other programming that they offer, you're going to be able to track all of the issues, people, and activities that are happening until we meet here at the Broadmoor next April 8th through 11th, 2024, for what will be the 39th Space Symposium. I am more than confident it will continue to grow uh, from what we've had this year. The international presence has been tremendous. We expect that uh, we'll have even more companies coming from around the world, in addition to the civil and military leaders that have joined us. And that includes, obviously, the persons that are here in the United States from our government, military, and industry that are also looking to lead and shape that economy. Lots of issues will always be on the table. We at Space Foundation want to be your partner and share with you how we inform, engage, and collaborate across, across the global space ecosystem. We thank you for joining us for Catch Space and for Space Symposium. And as always, thank you for what you do for the space community.